In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called using the Pythagorean theorem and a quadratic equation to find side lengths of a right triangle. We're told here that the shorter leg of a right triangle is 7 inches shorter than the longer leg, and the hypotenuse is 7 inches longer than the longer leg. And then we're asked to find the lengths of both legs and the hypotenuse. So I'll start by just drawing a right triangle that clearly has a long leg, a short leg, and a hypotenuse. Since the short leg is 7 inches shorter than the long leg and the hypotenuse is 7 inches longer than the long leg, I'm going to call the long leg x. The short leg is then 7 inches shorter, so it would be x minus 7, and the hypotenuse is 7 inches longer than the long leg. So it would be x plus 7. From the quadratic formula, we know that for right triangles, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the lengths of the legs, and c is the hypotenuse. So substituting in to the Pythagorean theorem, I'll call the long leg a. So a squared is x squared. b would be the short leg here x minus 7 squared, and then c would be the hypotenuse, which is x plus 7 squared. From here, we can start to simplify and solve. First, x minus 7 squared would be x minus 7 times x minus 7. Distributing, we have x squared minus 7x. Distributing the minus x minus 7x plus 49. So x squared minus 14x plus 49. So I'll do that replacement. x squared minus 14x plus 49 equals, on the right-hand side, I have x plus 7 squared. So this time, x plus 7 times x plus 7. Again, doing the distribution, x times x is x squared, x times 7 is 7x, 7 times x is 7x, and 7 times 7 is 49. Combining like terms, x squared plus 14x plus 49. So doing that substitution, we can simplify. On the left-hand side, we have a 2x squared minus 14x plus 49, and bring down the rest. To solve whenever I have a quadratic, I want to set one side equal to zero. And so here I can move everything from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side. So I would subtract x squared from both sides. I would subtract 14x from both sides. And I would subtract 49 from both sides. And since everything on the right-hand side cancels, I now have equals 0. On the left-hand side, 2x squared minus x squared is a 1x squared, minus 14x minus 14x, a minus 28x, and the 49s cancel. So our quadratic has now been simplified. x squared minus 28x equals 0. From here I could use the quadratic formula, or since this factors nicely into x times x minus 28, equals 0. When I have two factors multiplying to be 0, either the first one is equal to 0, or the second one, x minus 28, is equal to 0. To solve here for x, I would add 28 to both sides. x equals 28. So I have two potential solutions, either x is 0 or x is 28. But since x is a length, if I substitute x equals 0 back in, then one of my links for my triangle is going to be 0. And by the way, another one would be negative 7. So x equals 0 doesn't give me a solution for this triangle. The other solution, x equals 28, does give me a good solution because the longer side here, if it were 28, the short side would be 28 minus 7, or 21, and the hypotenuse would be 28 plus 7, or 35. 
this would be the dimensions for the triangle described in this problem.